do you think more adult books need more illustrations in them? Because it seemed like back in the days, you could just turn the page and there's a ginormous picture night. Cool. Like it goes with a story. <laughs> okay. So I have two trains of thought on this. I am an avid reader. I like books. I like books to the point where I will never dog ear a page. Like that's sacrilegious mm -hmm. to me. I try not to bend my spines. I like to keep them nice. Um, I prefer paperbacks, which is really weird for a booky person because normally everybody likes hardcover mm -hmm. they're nice, which they are, but for me, it's more clunky to read. Yeah. It's like, I'm just way more comfortable holding a paperback. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Fabio covers. Cheesy, like, <laughs> throwback 80s romance novels. Uh, the paintings are nice, whatever. <laughs> but it's not necessary. Because okay. for me, my image of that character is going to be different. And so okay. now you're putting that in front of me and it kind of skews. From what your imagination's already been. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Landscapes. I'm all there for, mm -hmm. especially fantasy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the setting is different than the character. Okay. So if there are setting illustrations, then I'm all for that. Mm -hmm. um, I love when I'm flipping through a book and there's little embellishments at the beginning of each chapter, okay. for example. And you don't see it a lot. Mm -hmm. So it feels special when you do see it. And even reading books off Kindle... That's a way you can kind of get some of that artistry back in there. It's just just your chapter header, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Or sometimes they'll have like a little quote at the beginning of the chapter that has some vague relationship to whatever is about to happen. But mm -hmm. I like those little things, those little teasers almost. Mm -hmm. And I love children's illustrated books. To me, illustrations in a children's book make the book. Yeah. It okay. is the book. Yeah. Words are kind of whatever mm -hmm. maybe it's cool if they arrive or something yeah i'll buy a children's picture book with no words mm -hmm. because i like the artwork okay all right i don't know did that even answer your question oh yeah, yeah it's totally both it yeah. depends on what it is i guess and no, i think it's not the upward yeah <laughs> <laughs> no yeah i think it does depend on what it is mm -hmm. i feel like i could maybe have gotten well, i don't think so this isn't really an if i had some visual aids yeah um so, you know, a part of me says yes. I do agree with you on the Fabio thing. So there's <laughs> that. Don't make that come back, please. <laughs> yes. But I feel like they're, like, every once in a while, it doesn't have to be the whole thing, but, like, mm -hmm. maybe every, like, I don't know, 20 to 50 yeah. pages, there could be a little something for me to be like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Really where the interesting part comes in is cover art. There is a whole like secondary market. Oh yeah, where you can buy artist jackets, cover jackets. Mm -hmm. Oh, to go over books that you've already got. And it's hardcover, but even the authors get in on it. Mm -hmm. They're like, "Oh man, check this one out. This is a really good like fan art version." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You yeah. get really cool typography. Like I a hundred percent judge books by their cover oh yeah it's what attracts me no and it doesn't have to have a picture it could just be a nice color or a texture i like that like mm. in a soft texture mm, okay on a book cover like mm. i feel you on that experience because i have a book that i bought to support um an astrologer that i like look up to mm -hmm. um and it's like man but then he like redid it with a better cover. I'm like, oh, 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 I, oh I wish I had that one. Right. And now it is like it's all good. Yeah. And yeah. 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 now it's kind of like out there in the astrology community. Um, but yeah, I just got the like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, like, and it's not even hard covers. And I, people go really crazy with the hard covers. But I, mm -hmm. my Lord of the Rings series, mm -hmm. like, they all have to match. They have to be the same <laughs> print run, you know, like. I don't want the cover from the 80s and the yeah. cover for the 95 or whatever. 
next to each other on the shelf. You know what? I saw a TikTok and the guy, you know how there's, when you have a book, there's like that gold, mm -hmm. it's like gold on the edge or whatever. He folds it, it's gold still, but when he folds it, it's like um, Frodo and um, um, Gandalf in the Shire oh. on one way, but then you like flip it a different way and it's like a completely different image. I was like, what? And it's our nation clan. Yeah, so oh, speaking of, mm. I've seen videos where people will rip off the covers and create custom covers like with leather, like a lot of leather workers uh -huh. um, doing really elaborate, beautiful covers or people painting the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, that. oh, it's really cool. there's so many ways to like embellish your books mm -hmm. and you don't even have to have much to do it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a printing press. You can take something that already exists. You can get it at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Like you can buy your own illuminator. Yes. The world needs more illumination. Thank you for watching this clip of Spotlight with Purple Easel. We're our instructors at SoCal's largest paint sip studio. Check out purpleeaselplus.com to join the largest online paint and sip community. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell, add to the conversation, comment below, and check out our full episodes at Purple Easel Spotlight. We'll see you soon.